sun is coming out this morning at Gunter Hill Campground and today we head to Florida. We've got a long drive ahead of us, four to five hours, and then we'll be staying at Fort Pickens National Historic Site for a number of nights. And probably for the next month or so of our trip, we're gonna be in Florida going all around the coast. So hoping to continue to have warm weather and uh, hopefully less rain than we've had on the trip so far. We're Matt and Dave, and together with our dogs Belle and Hudson, we're exploring the world in our escape travel trailer. In the winter of 2023, we traveled from Ontario to Texas to pick up a 17-foot Casita trailer and spent over a month on the road. We liked it so much that by the fall of 2023, we upgraded to a 19-foot escape trailer so that I had space to work from the road. We haven't looked back since. Come see where we go next. Hudson, are you ready to get back on the road? Ready to head to Fort Pickens? What is about to happen on our trip? We're crossing over into Florida. We're about to hit the border. Most people take two days to drive from Ontario to Florida. We took about two weeks because we did a lot of sightseeing. But we are excited that we finally made it to the southernmost state that we're going to be visiting. There was something about finally crossing into Florida that made us excited. We had already had some great adventures and some nice weather, but subconsciously getting to Florida felt like our trip was now really starting. This felt like such a drastic change from where we were just a few hours ago. The white sand that was suddenly surrounding us was a beautiful shock. Are you in Florida, buddy? And for some sun and some beaches? In our usual fashion, we got set up as quickly as we could so we could enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. We have arrived at our campsite at Fort Pickens in Florida and it officially feels like summer. It's amazing how quickly that transition took place. There's nice white sand beaches all around us. It's probably about 25 degrees out right now. I'm in shorts now and uh, to be honest it's so hot that I'm thinking about going swimming but uh, it's nice to be settled in and we're here now for five nights so we can relax and take in all the sights and without delay we headed down to the beach luckily at this campground there are beaches all around you so it wasn't a very long walk until we were right next to the ocean say it for the camera first time stepping foot in the ocean Matthew And it's cold. I guess I should clarify, first time on this trip. <laughs> Is it warm or cold? It's cold. How cold? I'd give it 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that's cold. Maybe 68.
this is Florida. White sand and crashing waves. We've had so many days of colder weather and rainy weather, and now it suddenly feels like we're on a tropical vacation. This is pretty awesome. Let's see what Dave thinks. It's just amazing to swim in the ocean again. It feels great. And we found a jellyfish. We later found out this was a highly venomous species of jellyfish. So very glad that we didn't try to touch it. Before too long, it was sunset, and boy, were we glad that we stuck around for this. This is our first morning in Florida, and it is not disappointing. It's beautiful and sunny. The birds are out, the leaves are on the trees. It definitely feels like summer here, which is kind of surprising because we only drove three to four hours yesterday from Alabama, and there's such a difference in the climate Beautiful morning. We recently received a travel map to show all the states we visited. What better time than now to finally put it up on the door? This was also the perfect time to trim our memory foam mattress. We had bought this one to replace the uncomfortable mattress that came with the trailer, but we were finding the fit was just a bit too tight. This meant restricted airflow around and under the mattress. So we pulled it out, and Dave took a bread knife to it. He only trimmed off about an inch, but it made for a perfect fit. By this time in our trip, we're finally starting to learn to slow down our pace, relax, and enjoy the day. Instead of running out to go and sightsee, we actually just spent the day relaxing and enjoying the water and the warm weather. Not sure what kind of bird that is, maybe a stork. Anyway, he's been busy fishing over here for a while. So we'll see how close we can get before he flies away. There he goes. Well, it's been another nice day here in Florida. It's uh, probably about five or six in the evening now. I've kind of lost track of time, to be honest. Being on vacation like this, you don't really look at the clock very often. But we had a pretty calm, relaxing day today. We did go and get some groceries, picked up some supplies. Dave washed the trailer, I worked out. 
He also cut up the mattress. And now we're just out for a nice beach hike. It's almost sunset and uh, we're just enjoying all the wildlife on the beach here at Fort Pickens. Our plan is to make it all, array, all the way around the peninsula and then go back across to our trailer. But uh, it doesn't look like we've made much headway so far because we keep finding cool things to look at. So we'll see if we make it all the way around tonight. We've made it to some sort of pier. So we may be at Fort Pickens now. Not really sure, but I guess we'll find out. Everyone seems to be on their way to head to the fishing pier. This guy in front of us is actually in quite the rush. So it must be prime fishing time. We're gonna go check it out. Oh, you can get black tip, black tip sharks here. Huh. Like you can catch them? Yeah. Oh. I'd like to see someone get a shark. Unknowingly, this was a bit of foreshadowing. About a week later, I had an opportunity to reel in a 170 pound bull shark. Stay tuned for episode 97 to see that. All this guy cares about is eating some fish tonight that he doesn't have to catch and instead one of these people catch instead. Unfortunately, we didn't see any fish caught on this occasion and that also meant no free meal for this pelican. When you visit Fort Pickens, you're going to be tempted to come to the beach during the day in the hot sun to enjoy. You can do that, but also make sure that you come at sunset. It doesn't get much more beautiful than this. The, the kind of lighting that you get, there's oranges and pinks with the white sand and the crashing ocean. It honestly does not get much better than this. So make sure, come check out the beach at sunset. It'll be worth it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. Or even better, subscribe to our channel. It really does help us reach a wider audience. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.